My name is Kyle Evans, and I am a U.S. Army retired staff sergeant. Hitman 2-3, this is Hitman 2-2, over. Roger, hey, I got two unknowns moving along this berm that's over here to our right side. On 10 May 2007, we were delivering uh, portable housing units to a local prison, and uh, on the way back, uh, my driver rolled over top of three sticks of dynamite that were strapped together, and it blew up directly underneath my seat. I don't remember anything from the incident. Um, it was knocked unconscious. You know, I'm, I'm 30, 32 with, with 20 spinal taps and a back surgery. You know, it's rough. When I was wounded in, in May of 2007, there was about a 30-month uh, window uh, where I was going through rehabilitation, where I was tracked um, by the Army um, until I was medically retired. And then upon the time that I was medically retired, I was automatically tracked by the VA. However, I can see for a lot of guys who aren't wounded, you know, when they return home and they're not being tracked, I can very well see how they can easily fall through the cracks. And, um, you know, a lot of them turn alcohol and drugs to cope because they don't necessarily have the accessibility to care or just the support system when they return to help them get adjusted to civilian life from being in the military. A lot of the focus is lost on the mental health component. I think we really need to address those individuals who, who are struggling in their transition and, and find out you know, if they're homeless, why are they homeless? Upon my transition from the Army in, in the end of 2010, everybody was focused on hiring veterans. You know, everybody wanted to, to get veterans jobs. However, if, if the veteran doesn't have somewhere stable to go after the end of the workday, what's the likelihood that he's gonna be able to return to work tomorrow? You know, we have men and women who have served our country honorably and who are out here on the streets, and none of them wanna be on the streets. Uh, you know, so we have to figure out ways to, to solve this problem. As a community, we have to come together. As businesses, we have to come together and, and create programs and follow through on them and not just throw dollars out there, but ensure that they're implemented and follow through on. We have to have compassion and, and we have to ensure that, uh, you know, that we're doing everything that we, that we possibly can to, uh, to take care of these individuals when they come home and as they transition, ensure that they're getting back to work and their kids are healing and that they're able to be productive members of society.